were talking about all the ramifications of the of the tag team championships, and although it feels like sacrilege to think that my team FTR is not in the tag team championship picture, um, I have to say this is an example of just like we've talked about it with Brit and Thunder of talent maybe not even not needing the tag team championships mm-hmm. um, to make us a, a, a feud buzzworthy right like point, right. this this ftr and jurassic express feud has only gotten hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter as weeks Absolutely. have gone on man like it's gotten more emotionally intense it's gotten much more personal um this this one felt like uh ftr just they got a lot of i mean i was grinning ear to ear in this match i know that probably the quite a few jungle boy fans out there weren't excited about this because I felt like Jungle Boy kind of got he got beat up pretty good by it FTR great, in this though, match. Hot, at hot spots too. He did, he did. I mean, but he, I, he's tapped out Dax with his move, and then he tapped cash out cash on the outside. Yeah, so cash he's on the outside. Tapped out both of FTR on the floor. So yeah. I mean, he's got but, their dumb. But but let's be honest, the experience and the knowledge of FTR played a role in this match. I mean, they could have had. There were multiple moments where Jurassic Express could have had the win. Um, mm-hmm. You met, you mentioned tapping out FTR on the outside. Um, and then when they, when they hit their finish, mm-hmm. um, that confusion of, you know, who was the legal man at the end yeah. caught that cost them um, FTR. Like th- these guys continue to be my, th- they are the gold standard for me in tag team wrestling because not just because of what they do in the ring, but it's just, it's that that's how smart, they are. It's just that it's are. so evident that they are students of the game. And it's it's so fitting that they were paired with Tully and JJ Dillon tonight, just playing off the history of professional wrestling, utilizing that um as part of their character arc, part of their character model of you know the respect and admiration for the, the, the people who have done it before them, actively playing a role now in their careers. That is really cool to me as a fan of, of professional wrestling my whole life. And as a fan of FTR, I love seeing, I love seeing that manifest itself tangibly in the results of their, their characters and the results of their matches. Now you, you see that, that respect and that student in the game mentality that FTR has actually playing a, a, a major difference in tonight's matchup. I mean, the, the, whether it was J.J. Dillon giving Dax the shoe <laughs> to hit him in the head, right, or thinking one step ahead and having the surprise return of Sean Spears, the cameraman, yeah, uh, right. play a role, man. I, I just felt like from top to bottom, FTR shined in this match, really was impressed. What SPD, I'll let you take it away from here. Do you think that this is the end of this feud? Because it did end in very controversial fashion, right? I mean, I'll, let me think about it as I kind of dissect this match. Tell me but, what you, you thought. Know, yeah, they, jump in. This entrance was outstanding. You know, the the, the matching gear, the you know, the throwback belts and stuff. Um, I, I loved that entrance with Tully, and he still got the swagger, man. You know, it was really funny how. Um, I believe it was Cash was holding the ropes, you know, to try to maybe have Tully go out and dive yeah. out to, outside the Tope Suicida, Tope Suicida dive. And then uh, he was like, no, no, no. And just did a little swagger dance kind of flare-esque style. So yep. um, that I think FTR was – that that trio worked so well. Um, they're, you know, the nasty heels and dirty dirty players that they, that they are. Um, and Jungle Boy also, I think, looked strong, even though he did get beat up a lot. Um Jurassic Express didn't look as bad. I was surprised Luchasaurus got the pin um, because he – I'm a huge fan of Luchasaurus. And that tr- suplex by him was great. And he's got the awesome kicks. But he didn't get enough time to shine in this this match to me. You know, He didn't get his typical usual spots that I like to see. Um, but it was a great finish with the spike pile, the, the triple team spike pile driver on Lucha, which made sense. You know, three guys taking down the, the dinosaur for sure. Mm-hmm. And the surprise entrance with Spears. Um, it's hard. I think you could close the book on this, but where do you go with the four horsemen or FTR and Spears now? Um, it's It could go both ways. 
I think you it could go both ways where you have, and now you have the addition of Spears, which he essentially he's all, all along been with Tully. Yes. He's all along, but he's just kind of been pushed to the back burner essentially. Not, not, not by Tully because Tully has been pushing him, pushing him, pushing him. And Spears has been coming up short. So do you put a surprise entrance Spears into the ladder match to rekindle the Scorpio Sky feud? Ooh. Or do Ooh. you have a surprise, surprise that we have not seen yet? So I think that could be a, a momentum builder. Um, I like where you're You can even that. have Spears, if you want to start a new feud, Spears enter it as the surprise and FTR help him them win. So that can kind of... I don't think anybody it. would complain about Spears you have winning. A Scorpio, I don't know if Scorpio Sky is completely broken away at SCU. Then you can do FTR and Spears versus SCU with Scorpio Sky. I don't know. That could be a way to go. Mm-hmm. Um, the that, beauty of the beauty of AEW is how many like, dude, you just said it. You you named a lot of things that make a lot of sense, right? Given the way that the characters have interacted and built off of things, right. um, that that Scorpio Sky Sean Spears feud was one of the, the hotter feuds on Dark for quite yeah, some time, man. Time, I, I loved it. Yeah, I, I and I think that Spears, man. Again, dating back to when, like the very beginnings of AEW, his, his, that dude, this this dude has not gotten that opportunity to to get that shine that I think that he he deserves. Spears has got everything you look for. He he's we talked about it with Jade checking all the boxes. Spears does the same thing, brother. This dude has gotten over over and over and again. Um, he knows how to organically get himself over, uh, and you throw him in a potential. FTR horseman type of vibe with Tully and, and, mm-hmm. and that crew. Um, th- the sky is the limit for that dude. So I, I don't think that there would be anybody arguing um, seeing a potential like horseman revel, like re- revelation basically come through and, and have a little bit more spotlight on these guys. Um, I know, I, I know that FTR is more than capable of carrying a, a main event uh, type spot. Um, and it, with the backing of Sean Spears and Tully, there, there's only there, really there's nothing that they can't do. So I, I'm, I'm really excited about where this could yeah. go. Um, I, I personally, um, there's so many places that you could take Jurassic Express to. We'll see what yeah. happens. You know, we'll see what happens. But at the end of the day, this was this was one of those matches that delivered in the ring. There was a lot of eyes on the t- the product because everybody was geeked out to see Tully in the ring. For Tully, sure. Tully was Tully had a lot of cool moments tonight. He he, he, he did. W- it whether good. it was L- Luchasaurus throwing um, Marco into. Um, into Tully, um, or get or Tully getting a kick to the head from Luchasaurus. He took some spots tonight. He took a couple sling, bumps. Uh, the slingshot suplex he did on Marco. When he too. he hit that slingshot suplex, that was a thing yeah. of beauty. Um, so there are a lot of people who um, who had their eyes on this match. It delivered, Rocks and then him. some. Um, yeah, I, I was impressed from start to finish in this one. Absolutely, was this was probably my favorite match of the night. Yeah.